Do you hate ads? I hate ads. You know what I like? Patreon.com slash Inkdependence. It keeps this channel ad-free. Hello folks, welcome to Ink Dependence. I'm Mike, and this is pretty much all the workspace I have on my desk when I am filming a video. My computer that I convert my do my audio on is over here, and my mouse is over here. I can't quite get it out of the way. My keyboard, I have smooshed back into a hole there. Uh, this is all the space I have left, and the reason that I am uh, I have cleared this all off today is that I needed the room for for this. Uh, this box came to me via DHL. It is very heavy. It is tipping the scales at over uh, seven pounds. And um, this is my box from Cult Pens that I have just gotten. And uh, I'm, um, I'm impatient to get in here. I just got this yesterday and then I had to leave the house and I, I just haven't had a chance to get in here. Uh, I, I ordered a lot of ink. Cult Pens is doing their birthday sale. Uh, I think it's like a 10 year extravaganza. There's uh, there's big sales. There's tons of exclusive inks. And so I got a lot of them. There's a gift bag mystery bag situation if you spend a certain amount of dollars, which I definitely I did. I think those are all sold out. They're all sold out like the day after I got it. So I'm glad I pulled the trigger early. Uh, because uh, I don't know, it's fun to get that stuff. This is an interesting box. Like it's kind of cobbled together. Oh, what do we have here? Look, look at all this bubble wrap. That's that's unusual. This box is solid. Look at this adorable little clip. I was wondering where I got that. I have another one right here. How cute are those things? I'll tell you, very cute. All right, uh, so let's put this over here. Let me see what's on this here invoicey type situation. It's a, yeah, it's a long list of things. So, well, it all fits on one page. I don't know. We'll put this over here. All right, getting into this box. Uh, there's gonna be a lot of ink. As I said, I'm not gonna swatch it because it would just take too long, I think. Oh, that's nice. That's a nice piece of bubble wrap. I will be reusing that. I don't know about you, but I keep all my good bubble wrap uh, because it comes in handy. That way I don't have to buy a bubble wrap. I don't have to throw it in a landfill. Okay, uh, what's this? More very, I think this gray bubble wrap. I kinda like it. All right, uh, what's this? This is all by itself. Oh, I had to rip the bag. Darn it. All right. Uh, here we have Sand Between Your Toes. This is a diamine exclusive for cult pens. Sand Between Your Toes is a 30 mil diamine. These were very inexpensive. This is a sort of uh, golden brown, it looks like. They filled this pretty full. It's actually full up to the neck, which is nice. Not all the way to the top, which is uh, <laughs> a big pain in the butt because then you spill it everywhere. There we go. You can kind of see... I'll see the color there. I'll be doing swatches and this sort of thing later on. I'll have them on my live streams and things of that nature. We'll do reviews on these as we go. Oh yeah, good. Good, good, good. These are some of my favorite things, these big bubble wrap bags. I love these things. Another thing I save. Uh, all right, so this is, ah, this is an ink that I was not familiar with at all. I didn't know this brand and somebody pointed it out to me. This is Campo Marizo. This is tobacco. Uh, this is, I believe, an Italian ink brand. Oh, look at that. look at how fun this box is. Kind of just pops open. That's cool. You have this little bottle of ink. This is 30 mils, as it says here. Tobacco from Campo Marizo. I haven't tried anything from this brand, uh, but I like their presentation so far. I like a little. A little seal here on the, the top of the... I'm not going to try to take that out. It looks like it's a little black seal that goes in there. So I'm just going to leave that there for now. And we'll deal with that later when I won't get ink all over myself and my purchases. All right. Tobacco. Cool. They also have at Cult Pens a few exclusive Pannonia inks. And you know I like Pannonia inks. That's uh, who I made my custom ink with. Cheerio Water Bus. Uh, this... <laughs> I'm not going to be able to say these at all. This is... Uh, Arv Arveshka, maybe? I don't know. These are 60 mil bottles. They are made in Hungary. This one is a purpley color. I know, I don't usually do purples, but I'm trying to get over my, my, uh, my college days hatred of purple. Uh, there we go. It's like it's a kind of a purple multi-chrome almost. I see some pink and blue and things in there. 
This ought to be pretty darn nice. It's got cult pens over here. PEX001. Fun stuff. Fountain pen ink exclusively for cult pens. Very cool. Does it have on the outside of the box? Oh, it does. Has a little has a little label right there. Cool. Uh, and the other one is uh, here. I I don't even know. <laughs> I'm not gonna try that one. Sorry, Mate. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do that one. I need you to put that on your your how to say this word site for Pannonia. You can find those out there uh, on the interwebs. How to say Pannonia inks. Uh, and this one. I'm not actually sure what this one's going to look like. It looked like it might be kind of a brown pink in the swatch that I saw. And I like a brown pink. Uh, it's a very interesting kind of color. I'm not sure exactly how this is going to turn out. It looks fairly darkish in the bottle and on the, the lid here. But uh, the swipe right there looks fairly light. So we'll see. This kind of reminds me of uh, Laban Aphrodite maybe a little bit. Like it's kind of in that vein. I don't know. We'll have to see how it goes. Then, all right, more diamines because there's like, uh, are there at least one, maybe two sets of diamines that were exclusive? So I got them because these at Cult Pens are, they ended up being like two or three dollars a bottle. And so like, I might as well, right? So here we have Caribbean green, which uh, looks kind of tealy to me. And then a dip in the pool, which looks like a nice cool pool blue. And there you can kind of see in the corners what the ink is going to look like. I like doing that on with bottles. Very nice. I think this goes with this set, actually. And they've got here... Uh, oh, this is separate. Uh, summer Sunset. These are all the summer colors exclusively for cult pens from Diamine. Made in England. Cult pens. The right stuff. I like that. It's a good tagline. And we have uh, a toe in the ocean. A dip in the pool and a toe in the ocean. Different blues, one of them much darker than the other. And then this one, which is uh, Lime Ice Lolly. How fun does that look like? It's like a very nice, interesting green. I uh, I like the name and uh, I like what Diamine's got going on with cult pens. They make some cool stuff over there. What did I do? Here's the other one. This is the other cult pens one that I picked up. This is from, uh, this is Michael, I believe. But in the little bottle, they call it Little Mickey. Uh, I'm a Michael, I'm a Mike, I don't go by Mickey or Mikey, but little Mickey, see, or my, uh, yeah, I'm gonna go with Mickey, little Mickey. I've heard this is quite good, my friend uh, Becky said I need to try it, let's see if I can see what color it is if I take off the, the lid. No, just very dark blue, I think is what's going on here. I like a dark blue, it's probably got some sheen because it's a, a diamine like that, so looking forward to that one. Looks like we've got a couple of more diamines in here. I tell you, diamine is busy. What are they going to run out of colors to do? There we go. Uh, yeah, the last two, I believe, of that summer set. Gray Skies No More and A Jug of Sangria. You can bring out your jug of sangria when you got gray skies. So that sounds like a plan, right? There we go. Set those over there. Then we have here. Oh, yeah. Vinta also has exclusive inks with cult pens. So it says handle with care. Uh oh. All right. Uh, then we have here Ginto, I think, is what this one's called. Is that right? Let's see. Uh, what's going on here? Vinta Promise. Uh, Vinta inks are obsessively designed and meticulously mixed. Our inks are meant for fountain pen or calligraphy use. Uh, for every bottle of ink you purchase, we'll donate tw uh, P25 to Teach for the Philippines Inc. And their goal to provide access to quality education for all Filipino children. That's pretty great. I like that. Inks by Vinta. I've taken a few, or I've taken, I've used a few Vinta inks, and uh, they're all interesting inks. I haven't had any that I was bored with, that is for sure. And uh, there we go. These are all going to be shimmer inks. I think Vinta does a nice shimmer ink. They did uh, they did Sodalite a little while ago for uh, Van Ness, which is a U.S. retailer. You can sort of see the, sort of see the shimmer in there. It's going to be a very interesting, oh, Whiskey Gold. There's the uh, the English name up there. And it's going to look like this. I really like when brands put a, uh, a swatch of the ink on the bottle. I think it's great. So, Whiskey Gold. Kind of wish that was on the outside of this bottle, or this box. I'm going to have to put it on the outside somehow. Um, Ulap, which is, uh, I want to say like, it's like a grayish color. 
Yeah. Uh, I got three of these, and ULAP, which is London Gray, they had a picture that was drawn with this and then used a water brush to sort of bring the colors down and out. And it looked like it was going to turn into lots of interesting colors. And I'm, I don't know what this is going to look like out of a pen or in a swatch or anything like that. But it looked very cool in that drawing. And so I kind of had to have it. So I got that. Again, these are not terribly expensive uh, from, um, uh, from the UK where Cult Pens is. Plus, I spent enough that I got 15% off. Uh, so thank you very much, patrons, for hooking me up with the cash to make purchases like this so I can show you new and interesting and exclusive things from vendors and retailers and all that jazz. If you're not a patron, think about being a patron at patreon.com slash inkdependence. Keeps this blog ad-free, except for this ad for me. This is rye green. So you know I had to get whiskey and rye. So uh, this is whiskey gold and this is rye green. So whiskey and rye. And uh, you know I love a good green. And that looks like a very nice green, so I went for it. I didn't have, um, at least I think this is, I'm pretty sure this is a shimmer. Is there a shimmer on the box? Yeah, definitely shimmer in that one. No shimmer in this one. I don't think shimmer in this one either. Yeah, this one's not shimmer. So, uh, whiskey and rye. Fun stuff. Whiskey and rye and London is what I've got so far. This right here is the, uh, the surprise goodie bag, and I want to get that last. We'll go through that as part of the unboxing. We will unbox the bag. I will uh, I will let you know what I'm gonna what I'm gonna break into that and we, you can you know turn away avert your eyes if you've got one coming and don't want to know. Cult pens handle fragile with care. What's in here? That's separate from what I just got. It's been a it's been a little time, so I've kind of forgotten what all I got. Oh, oh, they did this. Okay, interesting. Okay, let's slide that out of there. This is a whole set from Diamine. I knew that Diamine had two new things. This is the other new set. Ah, uh, yeah, the flowers. Duh, Mike. Here we go. Uh, this is a whole set of 10 new Diamine inks. They had another set of flowers before, and these are brand new. This is the second set of flowers, and these are exclusively for cult pens. We have Lotus, Forget-Me-Not, Dahlia, which is an interesting green. Is this ink green? It's got to be a green ink, right? I don't have a green Dahlia, but that's pretty cool. Buttercup, Azaleas, which I grow very nicely here in North Carolina. Petunia, which looks like a super dark purple, perhaps. Sweet Pea, which looks like it got a little bit of ink on the label. Orchid, Sunflower, and Snapdragon. Let's take out Sweet Pea here just to make sure we're good. Yeah, a little bit of leakage, but not too bad. Just a little bit of, just a little bit of leakage around the edge. Got a little bit on my hand. It's a nice looking purple. That's not a big deal. I'm not gonna worry about that. But uh, yeah, looks like we're still good. Honestly, I'm surprised more of these haven't leaked because I mean they did have to come all the way to North Carolina from the UK. So very nice looking thing here. Snapdragon, that's a thing I just cannot grow here. I don't know what the deal is. I can't make them grow. Sunflowers, as soon as I plant them, the deer eat them. <laughs> and if I plant them in the backyard, they turn away from me because the sun comes up that way in my backyard uh, and they want to face the sun. And so they all just like turn their backs on me and it made me sad. So I don't plant sunflowers anymore. So unless I'm just going to feed them to the deer. Okay, let's get into this this goodie bag here. This is this is all the ink I got um, And this goodie bag. Cool. Comes in a tote. We have a whole Cult Pens tote bag here. These were selling for, uh, I think it was 50, $54 US, I believe, was the price conversion on this. Uh, they said it is at least 50 pounds worth of uh, goods. I don't know what it is. This is a surprise. If you would like to have the surprise uh, kept for you, then uh, don't watch the end of this video, I guess. Like, get out of here. If you do want to see what's in here, hang out, because I want to know too. Let's get in this thing. It's a very nice tote bag, actually. Lightweight. I can crush it up into a ball and throw it in my truck. All right, what have we got here? Oh, a whole bunch of things. All right, interesting. Interesting. Okay, so, uh, firstly, this is uh, correction tape. Free sample with innovative air touch technology, mono air four correction tape. Glides especially smoothly. Fits in small pockets. All right, so it's, uh, it's whiteout tape. Okay. All right, interesting. Interesting. Oh, it's Tombow. Yeah, Tombow stuff. Tombow mono stuff. Tombow makes good goods like that. Uh, then we have this. What is this? Uh, Tombow plastic eraser. How do I... 
We can go on a lanyard? What's this do? How do I open this? <laughs> Let's see, there's a sticker here. This has got to mean something. Aha, there we go. Aha, this uh, and the screws. Yeah, cool. All right, an eraser for when you are using uh, your, your pencils. Uh, Tombow plastic eraser. Uh, yeah, all right, cool. Well, eraser. <laughs> so far, things to fix mistakes. Uh, next up, Faber-Castell Dual Marker Goldfaber Aqua. Oh, it's a brush pen. All right, we got a brush pen on one side. On the other side, a fine liner style thing in a uh, very nice purple. All right, that's cool. Oh, yeah, these are pretty good. Are there, I thought I saw another one of these. Similar things, anyway. This is a really nice grab bag for people to just try random, you know, goods. This is uh, the Stabilo Point Eighty Eight. I have a bunch of these. I'm actually a big fan of the Point Eight Eight. It is a porous point, uh, like plastic tipped. Um, I don't know, marker pen, direct ink is sometimes what people call these. But it has this very nice uh, flat sided body. Feels good in the hand. It's very light and slim. You can stick this in any backpack or whatever that you're looking for. Uh, I like these a lot. They write really well and they don't bleed through things. And this is the Stabilo Point Max, which is like the other end of that spectrum. You've got this is uh, says so it's a fine point four. This is a medium point eight. I don't really. That's all. I don't know. It seems like it would be bigger than that. Nice blue though. All right, we'll try that out. I actually haven't tried these before. I haven't seen them in my local stores. Otherwise, I'd probably pick up a fistful because I love single pens. Um, oh wow, this is a classic. The Uniball Eye, or the Vision Elite, uh, as most people refer to it. This is, uh, I feel like this one might have been sitting in a pen cup for a long time. So I was like, I don't know, we got to get rid of these. <laughs> but these are a classic pen. I used these all through college. Uh, the, the Uniball Vision, the Vision Elite, and the, um, what is it, the Pilot Precise V5. Those were all my roller balls that I used all the time. It's a very, uh, very, <laughs> very standard kind of pen. Like, Rollerball, this one. This is one everybody recommends or uh, recognizes for sure. What's this? Oh, more of those little, uh, little paper clips. Cool. Worth it. Lastly, pen, or not lastly, there's actually several more things in here. Pentel, uh, Pentel Intergel with a whole bunch of flowers on it. Looks like uh, a little bit of promotional action for Pentel here. Um, yeah, it's too bad they interrupt the you know the flow of the graphic, but that looks very nice. It's probably a standard black pen, but uh, lots of nice flowers and stuff on there. All right, okay. Uh, what's up next? Oh, here's <laughs> here is uh, I was just saying the Pilot V balls and uh, precisions and that sort of thing. I this this is the uh, the European branding for this. Let me see if I have one of these handy. Yeah. All right. So I actually have an older version of this pen. This is the Pilot V Ball BG05. This is the larger size. Um, this is one that I've had for quite a while. Uh, it's like the last one of a big box of them that I bought. But this is another one that I really used a ton of. I think I bought like a 12 pack and this is my last one back in the day. But they don't go bad. It's a perfectly good pen. This now has, uh, it's got a metal clip. It's got slightly different styling, but still the, the Pilot V-Ball. Really, really solid rollerball pen there. If that's what you're into. All right. Uh, two more things to go. Firstly, some Leuchterm dotted Sin Sucht. Sin Sucht, the hunger, hunger that no food satisfies, the thirst that no beverage quenches, the fire that resists extinguishing, sometimes great, often uncontrollable, at times unfulfilled, burning with it, heartbeats, high hopes, wishes upon stars, red roses, purple rose. Oh, red roses, purple prose, poetry in motion, share your most secret desires. Okay. All right. Leuch Leuchcraft by Leuchterm 1917. Interesting. Notebook collection for unconventional thinkers. Each notebook bears a title in the form of a German loan word. Etymological exports. Oh, that's pretty cool. All right, that's interesting. Interesting. I wonder what the uh, I wonder what the paper is in this one. I know they just released a really special, like a good, like a premium paper for these uh, Leuch terms. I like Leuch term notebooks. They are not absolutely the best with fountain pens, but they have a good feel to them. They've got a nice like softness to the paper that feels good under the nib or you know pen point. 
Uh, pretty nice. Good binding on this one, too. All right. I like that. I'm, I'm happy with the Lloyd's Charm. Uh, and lastly, it's the last thing. Uh, this is a Rhodia notebook. I haven't actually seen this one. I'm not sure this is a thing that they sell in the U.S. This is 90 grams, which is the thicker paper. Yeah, this is uh, this is not the the Rhodia that I'm used to. Look how wide those that ruling is. How big is this? Does it say? It doesn't say. Sturdy hardcover, micro perforated sheets, date planner, unique whiteness for clear handwriting without dazzling. Interesting. Ultra smooth satin finish. Premium paper, superior opacity and strength. Huh. Uh. Yeah, it doesn't actually say what the the lining is. What the you know how wide those are apart. But that's that's interesting. It looks quite wide. National emergency numbers. Dial nine nine nine. Wow. You can tell this is not from the U.S. because that would be nine one one. Of course. And also all the phone numbers are like that. So many digits. But uh, yeah, interesting. This reminds me of a black and red notebook some. It's got that kind of uh, big double double ring binding and double spiral rather. All right. Well, this is, uh, this is 10 pounds heavier than my usual Rhodia. And I am curious how it's going to perform. So that's pretty cool. I don't think you can get this, this in the U.S. So it's a new thing on me. All right. So that was the 50-pound uh, the cult pin tote bag extravaganza i'm not sure uh i don't know the prices like I, got everything yeah i got everything i'm not sure the prices on all these things i'm a little dubious about 50 pounds although these could be like 10 to 20 bucks a piece i think I, i'll check prices on things but and i'll probably put them on the screen here but uh yeah all right interesting interesting assortment of things for a free grab bag now i did buy all fountain pen ink and they gave me all non-fountain pens which is interesting although this is almost certainly fountain pen friendly so that's cool and this is pretty pretty friendly all right interesting stuff thank you very much for joining uh be on the lookout for all of these things especially on the blog and also i'll probably do a little something on these papers as well just because it's fun. All right, so thanks for joining me. Uh, go over to Cult Pens. That sale is still going on, I think, until tomorrow. Well, I don't know. Maybe it's not going on. I don't know. By the time you watch this, it'll probably be over. But, uh, you know, check out Cult Pens. They've got good stuff and really good prices, especially on things like Diamine and tons of exclusives going on right now. So uh, I think that's, uh, that's a lot of fun. So thank you very much. And thank you again to the patrons. I will see you all in another video. If you hung in this long, you know you want to subscribe. If you're not subscribed, just go ahead and subscribe. Hit that button down there and, uh, and, and subscribe. Uh, I know like 50% of my viewers don't aren't aren't subscribers. So like hit subscribe. Okay, everybody, I will see y'all later on. Peace out.